Hello, Debbie here from Barossa Valley Crafts. Welcome back. So we're still using the Lavinia Dinkles. This time we're going to be using Lime Divine and Periwinkle. So I'm doing a series of these where I'm making lots of backgrounds using some of the different colours. And then once they're dry, I will do more tutorials on um, turning them into cards. So stamping them and doing different things on them to show you how they can look and how it completely changes what you see here. So these ones, I'm going to show you how I have done these. This one is using a gel plate and this one is just by working on the card. So let me show you how I have done those. We'll start off with working on the gel plate. So what I'm going to do first is using Lime Divine, I'm just going to sprinkle some of the colour onto the plate. And now the Periwinkle, I'm going to do the same. So you don't need a huge amount, a little bit of this goes a long way. And then I'm going to spritz it with water. Now I'm not going to add too much. The more water you add, the more movement you will get. So now I'm going to just get my card. So I'm using a smooth white 300 GSM card. And I'm going to pop my gel plate on there and give it a gentle press. So you can see there what it's doing. Okay, we'll just peel it off and give it a gentle rub. Be careful when you're rubbing it because it will be slippery and you don't want it to slide too much. Peel it off. And there's your background. So I'm just going to move that around a bit so that I don't have a dark edge. So there's that one. And I'll just clean off my gel plate. And we'll do another one. So as you can see there, same colours, same technique, but they look different. You will never get the same look twice. You just don't know what you're going to get when you do these. So I'll just move that one out of the way. And now we'll do the other one. So now I'm going to spritz my card first. Now again, I'm not going to put a huge amount of water on. And we're going to use the Lime Divine first. And then Periwinkle. I wouldn't, when doing these, I wouldn't add any more than two or three colours. Otherwise, they'll go a bit muddy. Now, you can leave that one as it is. But if you want it to move more, we'll just spritz it with a bit more water to make the colours move a bit. Just get some paper towel. Or have some paper towel on hand doing this because you will need it. Now I'm just going to tip that to make the colours run. So we're doing different ways. Okay, so there's that one. That's it. And it will be enough. So there's those two. So that's done by spritzing the card. And this one's done on a gel plate. Now this one is also done by spritzing the card so you, again you can see how different they look and here's the two done on the gel plate so you can see how different they look as well so they're great techniques and you can just you do some amazing backgrounds so when these are dry I will do another tutorial um, using these backgrounds to turn it into a card so you can see how they all look and the difference it will take on as a completed card. So thank you for joining me. Um, please feel free to subscribe if you would like to be notified when I do more tutorials. And if you'd like to come and join us on my Facebook group, you're more than welcome. I'll add the links in the description below for Card Making for Beginners and Beyond and Barossa Valley Crafts. Thank you for joining me. See you soon. Bye.